Calvin, final question. Governor, I asked you about the state of the presidency, and you didn't mention these investigations. You left those out of the list. On the one hand, you've got the Republican National Committee, which you used to run, questioning the credibility and legitimacy of the independent counsel. On the other hand, you've got many leading members of Congress saying he's a great guy, he's a man of, of, of integrity, let him do his job. Which is the right thing? Which is the smart political thing to do? Well, look, going to do his job, supposed to do his job. Uh, and, that's, and that's what we should expect, and that's what we should want. But uh, the, the thing that bothers me is all the rumor mongering. I mean, even the, uh, the career Justice Department uh, Deputy Attorney General, who, as I say, is a career. His only political appointment he ever got was from the Obama So should the RNC stop attacking the independent <clears throat> Well, what, what we ought to do is listen to what that guy said. Don't believe all these unvouched for, don't know who said it, don't. Remember how many people at the Justice Department have been appointed by the Trump administration? Virtually none. And there are people that have been there a long, long time. One of the, who are Democrats, but one of the, but one and, of the people who and was they're appointed, spreading, and they're okay. spreading Understood, all of this. One of the people who was appointed by the Trump administration nominated is the Deputy Attorney General who picked Robert Mueller. So should the RNC stop attacking Robert Mueller? Yes. But he has no. a career. He, he, oh, the but, very person you're talking about is a career civil servant, and he is the one that said, "Don't believe all this right. rumor mongering." Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. that's yeah. right. Yes or no? Though should the RNC but stop? Should the RNC stop at questioning Robert Mueller's legitimacy and integrity? Yes or no? Well, I don't question it, but that's not what other people do. It's not up to me. But I would say the very good advice is that. On NBC, CBS, or Fox News, they ought not to make the whole story. Somebody said, somebody said, somebody said. Well, but I, that and, is the whole story. And and we were just talking about that earlier today. I certainly agree with you there. I also uh, believe that the Republican National Committee should not attack a war hero. They got a Purple Heart uh, and a Bronze Star in Vietnam and served this country. I think ab ably and proud after September 11th and Bob Mueller. Uh, we need to go, but, 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 but final question here. Um, you compare how France has done compared to how the United States and Great Britain has done. We've always looked down our nose at France because they aren't like Anglo, ang the, you know, they don't have that sort of <laughs> Anglo-Saxon capitalism, French. animal <laughs> spirits. Uh, but you say actually in the transition, they're doing better than us. Maybe. I mean, Macron set himself up a huge, huge task here. He's going to indulge, embark on Thatcher-style labor reforms. The French like their short working week. Um, if he uh, fails, which probability is that he will, looking at recent French history, Marine Le Pen is there to pick up the pieces. So. Yeah. The champagne is half full, but half full. you know we shouldn't sort of drink the whole bottle yet. No, and God, no. perhaps they should. Oh, well, Friday, they could anyway, forty-hour so. work week. <laughs> Kaylee Barber, thank you so much. Thank you, Joe. Hotty toddy, baby, go Rebels. There you go. We'll Let, get ready. Let's hope next year's better. Ed Luce, thank you so much too. Greatly appreciate you being here. The book is the retreat of Western liberalism. What did they want to call it before? The collapse. The collapse. No, that's Pat Buchanan's line. Yeah. The retreat. All right, coming up next, we've been talking about America's political relations around the world, but what about our military's commitments? We're going to be talking to the former top commander in Afghanistan, retired four-star general Stanley McChrystal. He's going to join the table coming up next on Morning Joe. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.